What's going on? It's your boy C Grimes, aka Black Anakin, aka Black Da Vinci, coming at you with another Slizzer review. And you know why we call them Slizzer reviews, right? It's because we doing reviews while we getting slizzered. Now, as far as what I'm drinking on, let's just say that Snoop Dogg used up all the juice when he was walking down the street smoking Indo, so I had to mix my gin with some tonic. You feel me? What we gonna be reviewing today is that 2K18 now. I happened to get a copy of this early. So what ha happened was I walked up in the GameStop on Friday and I was like, what's good? Do y'all got that 2K18 though? And it was like, did you pre-order it? And I was like, no but you still gonna give me a copy though. And the girl behind the counter was like, yes sir. And then she was like, is there anything else I can get for you today? Another game, some headphones, my body. They have uh, basically three versions of the game. So the first is the regular version, which I got, which retails for $59.99 plus tax. So basically 60 bucks. Then they have another version, which is like $100, which gives you some extra stuff and starts you off with a bunch more VC. Then they got like the super version, like the Super Shack Legend Gold Edition, which is $150. Bucks, and it gives you like some Shack memorabilia stuff. Along with, I think it's like 250,000 VC. I ain't fixing to spend no more in this game than necessary. So, I bought the basic version. Um, I've only been playing my career. Uh, I pretty much grinded my character all weekend. I put a lot of work into it. To the point where um, I'm at level 68. Which means that... The next time that I play this, I will level up to 69. Now, a lot of people like myself are going to do the face scan because they want to put their likeness into the game. So there's an app that you download for free. It takes 14 shots of your face. And then it has to upload all 14 of those images to the 2K servers. You know, a lot of times, like, it wouldn't complete the upload it would give me an error message and I would have to like try again uh, when you upload it from your phone you then have to go on the game and download your face scan if there's an error while the while your game is downloading it you have to start all over from scratch with the phone and do a new face scan once you get uh, a successful face scan that uploads to the game you have to check it out and make sure that it's something that you can live with you know what I mean someone at 2k had the bright idea to make a neighborhood so the way it's set up is you have an apartment kind of like 2k 17 you have a you have your own spot but to get to other places like to go to practice or to holler at your agent and this, that, and the other, to get new clothes and gear and stuff, you have to physically leave your crib and go running around the neighborhood to one of the stores or one of the other buildings. I don't know what they were thinking. I think somebody there had the bright idea to be like, hey man, let's make it, let's do like GTA and have them actually be in a hood, you know? A hood. Another thing to note is that this game is all about the badges now uh, in previous 2k games obviously like you wanted to get your badges and upgrade them and everything and this one it's all about the badges so you can play your NBA games and earn badges you go to the practice you work on badges you get three three drills per practice and before the start of each drill you have to select which badge you got you want to work on so it's like like cutting it right to the chase again being like yo you here to upgrade badges which ones do you want to work on for this practice you could also earn them from playing 
my park, which I think they call it my neighborhood this time around. Now let's talk about the types of characters. So when you set up your character, you select a primary and a secondary archetype. And depending on what you select and what order you select them in, that determines what your uh, main five badges are and how far you can upgrade them. Um, the gameplay, it's better than last year. It does feel like you have more control over your character. It doesn't feel like you get sucked into preset animations as much. Uh, layups, first of all, do not have a shot meter this time around. Um, but I noticed that I miss a lot of layups. Uh, the other thing, the shot meter, they changed it so instead of it being at your feet like it was before, the only thing at your feet is the turbo meter. They moved the shot meter to, it's kind of like a backwards apostrophe next to your head. Um, it's not visible until you start to take a shot. As far as the jump shots, um, you still are trying to get those green releases. If you shoot a shot and you get a full white bar, they call it a good release. And most of those shots were not going in. It seems like you gotta either get the actual green release or you gotta go like slightly above or slightly below. They made it to where your turbo meter will run down after the game. And in order for you to refill your turbo, you gotta go to the Gatorade training facility after the game. Um, as far as this actual game, 2K18, uh, if you're a fan of basketball, you gotta pick it up. Um, it's definitely fun. Um, there's some frustrating parts, but um, if you can overlook those, then I believe you'll have an enjoyable gaming experience. Oh, let me also talk about the storyline. So the storyline is cornier than any one that's come before it. Um, you got a lot of cringe characters. Um, your character says, says some cringy stuff to where you're like, bruh, like, you, you turn it into the stud on the team. Like, why you say stuff like that? Your sidekick is extremely annoying. She is uh, some like driver or you name Univator or, or uh, you. She's ridiculous. Yeah, the storyline is super corny. Um, it's got so much corn in it that you can make like a bag full of tortillas and some sauce and stuff. Basically, you could make like a whole Mexican lunch out of that shit with all the corn that it's got in it. Other than that, uh, like I said, 2K18, I, I recommend it. Uh, if you're a basketball fan, you should pick this up. Make sure that you follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. It's all so clean, so grimy. Uh, but other than that, this has been your boy C. Grimes, a.k.a. Black Anakin, a.k.a. Black Da Vinci, signing out. Peace.